Hey everybody, welcome to the Outer Rim Rookie, a beginner's journey to joining the 501st and Rebel Legion. My name is Rob Williams. Today's episode is all about this. The tunic. Reese's tunic. Huh? It is done. It is done. I think it's done. I'm pretty sure it's done. I'm confident it's done. It's done. I'm going to give you a rundown on how this was made, and it required a lot of help from a lot of people. I found that there was hours and hours and hours of footage of me building this. I'm not going to show you hours and hours of footage. I will just give you the basic rundown of it, and I'll put pictures on the Facebook site, as well as maybe Instagram, a whole bunch of stuff like that. It was tricky, but I got it done. So let's get into it. Let's talk about how to make the tunic. The first thing I needed to do was get some help from a talented friend, and that friend was Christine. We started by putting together a simple pattern. I would then trace the pattern onto the fabric lining and the nylon shell. It was a lot of cutting and measuring and it left a huge mess, but in the end, we had all the basic pieces. Now it was time to measure out the vertical lines. We needed about 12 bars at about two and a half inches to fit my frame. We would then sandwich thin batting between the nylon and the lining and sew it all together. I really struggled with this part due to the sticky nature of the nylon. It just bunched up. But then a friend of mine, Cassandra, suggested I pin perpendicular, which allowed me to sew and keep the fabric from moving around. It made a world of difference. All right, not so bad. I'm kind of liking this. This is the back. This is the front. Pretty good, huh? I think so. I'm pretty happy with this. Christy and I then sewed the edges of the tunic, and we could see that it was really starting to come together. I also had to make some pieces for the collar, the arms, the tunic front, and the bottom. I also sewed Velcro onto the inside of the front opening. One major challenge of the tunic was getting that iconic shoulder flare. We noticed when we sewed the arms onto it, it pulled down on the shoulder. We thought about hiding it by attaching flares separately. But we eventually discovered that if we attach the sleeve further inside the natural bend of the fabric, it would reduce the downward pull and allow it to sit high like we wanted it to. I also added thick craft foam within the tunic to help maintain its rounded shape. The final step was to trim the neckline and attach the collar. This would expose more the neck of the mask. I eventually finished the collar and went through the checklist of what needed to be done. I soon discovered the list was complete. Now I need just help put this all in. And then I could be done. And then I could be done. And then I could be done. Hmm. Excited. So there you go, it's all done. It fits really big. This is a behemoth of a tunic. <laughs> and it requires two people to help me put it on. There are some more things, <laughs> look at this thing. <laughs> it is big. The belts help it out, uh, the gloves help it out. It looks a little bit long right now, but it really is working well. And it's noisy. But it's done. I'm so happy. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so thankful for Christine and, and uh, Jamie for helping me with this thing, especially Christine. Oh, mwah. thank you so much. There are some more stuff to go with this tunic. We'll get into next episode on putting the costume together. 
I'm putting it together, dudes. I think I'm finished. Let's put this thing together. <laughs> so there you go. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Next episode, we're putting the costume together, talk about all the pieces, and we're taking submission pics because Jamie's coming in about five minutes to help me take pictures. <laughs> See, I learned my own lessons. I need help with these photographs. And like I said, it takes two people to put this thing together. We'll get into some more of the details of the costume that I haven't talked about in the past, but it's going to be exciting. So I hope you join for that. And then soon, I'm going to submit. And then right after that, Fan Expo. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just going to stop right here. Thanks. Like, subscribe. Help us get to 500. We're almost there. As of this recording, we're at 470. We'll talk to you next episode. And remember, armor and tunics are built on hope. Bye.